It's your boy Austin from Brockton. Back at y'all with another weekly vlog. And this past week was something else. That fire alarm went off again. And we were all pretty much rushed outside of the uh, apartment building, right? You know, the firemen showed up and we all went back inside. And the firemen were actually pretty rude towards my mom and stuff. Like, she was trying to ask them why it went off, you know, if it was a false alarm or what. And at first, all of them were ignoring her. And then one of them finally answered saying, yeah, it was a false alarm. Then she asked another one of the firemen if we could use the elevator. And he was like, yeah. Like, honestly, man, if you're going to be a fireman, you got to have them people skills. Alright, you got to know how to do your job as well as have them people skills. Alright, if you can't be nice to people, you shouldn't do a job that requires you to work around people. Plain and simple, man. Like, those firemen... They need to learn how to talk to people, man. Them and the construction workers, but that's a different story for a different day. And um, I was live on this app called uh, Airtime this past week. And for those of you who don't know what it is, it's pretty much one of those apps that have a room. And you go live in the room with whoever, yada, yada. So it's a live stream room app, as I like to call it. <laughs> and, you know, I was on there promoting my music and whatnot. And this chick called, um, she calls herself Katie's Mad Thick. That's literally her uh, username on there or whatever. And, you know, she joined the stream or came on stage, as Airtime likes to call it. <laughs> you know, I was playing Christmas Kush, you know, she was digging Loki Dope's rap because it was in the middle of, like, his second verse when she had come on stage. And, you know, his verse ended, and then my chorus started playing. She was mad rude about it. You know, she said, what is this bullcrap music? I'm out of here. And I pretty much said... By Felicia, I blocked her and I kicked her out of the room. Like, honestly, that song is fire. Ain't nobody ever hated on Christmas Kush before. Everybody that has heard it has loved it, man. They love Loki Dope on it. They love my chorus on it. They love my third verse on it. Well, my, I should say my only verse, but the third verse all in all first person to ever hate on Christmas Kush and I honestly question her sanity bro but then again her username is Katie is Matt Thick so that explains a lot already you know she's one of those who thinks highly of herself one her butt is probably more flat than a crack addict's butt <laughs> so I don't even know why she's even talking about on Chris's Kush with a username like that, man. Think it too highly of yourself. Dumb kids, I swear, man. Dumb kids, this generation. Dumb kids. But, um, yeah. Aside from dealing with ignorance and dealing with stupidity. And, side note, overheard a conversation, you know, when we were waiting for the elevator. Apparently, the fire alarm went off. Pretty much for nothing. Like, there was nothing near it for it to go off or anything. Like, it's stupid. Stupid false alarm. But, um, yeah, this past week I also did a Zoom meeting with my luminosity worker. You know, we talked about the usual. Talking about the whole, um, fire situation, you know. Told him at the fire alarm or whatever. But, um, yeah. Aside from craziness and ignorance, this past week has been something else. 
And if y'all saw the Oscars Sunday, y'all probably saw Will Smith slap Chris Rock, right? Or if you haven't seen it, you've at least heard about it, seen a meme about it on Facebook. I honestly think Will Smith was in the wrong. You know, as soon as it happened, I posted about it on Facebook. And this dumb chick, this Brian Elizabeth, commented on it with her opinion, you know. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. That'd be one thing if she said he was just defending his wife, which even still, it's not okay to be that mad unprofessional. You know, it'd be one thing if she left it at that, but no. This female decided to insult me as well as state her opinion. Pretty much saying, no wonder why I haven't been able to keep a girl. Like, so, pretty much speaking out against someone being unprofessional at a place like the Oscars and freaking titles me to be single. It titles me to be treated wrong by women. Mad ignorance, man. But honestly, one of these liberals better get their kid, to be honest. <laughs> like, I'm not playing with it, bro. This Brianna Elizabeth. And then when you come across my video, shut your face. Honestly, Brianna, you're mad ignorant. You need a freaking attitude adjustment. That's what you need. And to learn some respect. Dumb little white girl. But, um, yeah, aside from all the ignorance that's gone on this past week, and aside from the fire alarm, yada yada, pretty chill and laid back week, I must say. And with that said, it's my entire week in a nutshell. Go check out the song I dropped this past week called Toxic Trait Kate. And I'm actually working on another song called Shut Your Face. Hoping to feature someone on there. If someone on Smeal would actually hop on it. I mean the invite has 10 days left. It's only been up for 2 days. So I'm not really tripping yet. But if there's no feature on there, if there's nobody that hops on there soon, then yeah, I'm going to have to do something. <laughs> you know, I'm going to have to, like, finish it off myself or even just re-record it and cut it off at the, uh... at the third verse or after the third verse or something but um yeah with that said like the video subscribe to my channel check out talk to Trey Kate and until my next video peace y'all